What's up, fight fans? Main man, me man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. What up to the fam? And what up to everyone in Main Man, me man's boxing forum on Facebook? Hey, check it. The thing is this, man. Caught a recent interview from Jerron Boots Ennis over on YSM Sports Media. Salute the YSM Sports Media. And which they got on the record, Jerron Boots Ennis, showing what direction that he wants to go into. I like what the kids talking about, fight fans. We all know that Jerron Boots Ennis is now rated perhaps the highest in the IBF. It all depends on where the IBF will place uh, Cody Crowley. But as of now, he is currently the highest rated contender in the IBF. So we all expect for him to possibly be getting the mandatory shot or either an elimination bout for the mandatory shot. I hope uh, we go straight into the mandatory, given that the mandatory for the IBF has not been called in quite some time. Most importantly, my whole wants for this to happen is because this will force Earl Spence Jr. into either a fight with Jerron Boots Ennis or either a fight with Terrence Bud Crawford. And me as a boxing fan, fight fans, I would like to see nothing more. So let's go, man. So Jerron Boots Ennis is letting it be known. He is like not letting no one take let him take his eyes off the prize. And he ain't saying nothing otherwise. According to Jerron Boots in this, and I quote, I should be the highest in the IBF. So that's the route that we're going to go, end quote. Also during this interview, which is something I heard Jerron say in the past, they also attempted to face the former mandatory in the IBF, Abdu, uh, Quadratrilio Abdu Kokorov, the fighter that lost last weekend. Jerron Boots in this also put in paperwork to try to possibly get that fight and maybe even become the mandatory a bit faster. This lets us know that this kid is hungry. He wants to shot and he ain't bluffing. I like that fight fans. I like that. When they asked him how would he perform in the ring against Earl Spence Jr. He says, and I quote, taking it to a different level, being smart, not looking for a knockout and letting it come to me. End quote. Something that Jerome Boots and this has also been saying a lot right after his fights. Clearly, this is something that him in his corner has been working on, not allowing him to rush his work inside the ring. Allowing the knockout to come to him, not looking to please the crowd, not going becoming a, a fighter, uh, 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 putting yourself in harm's way and doing uncharacteristic type things, allowing the knockout to come to you. I like how this kid is talking, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and he says, and I quote, I want to finish the night at the end of the night with a knockout, end quote. Damn. He's saying that he wants to knock out Earl Spence Jr. Now, that's bold. Very bold coming up from a contender uh, who has yet to really get in there with the levels of Earl Spence Jr. But he is hungry, fight fans. He must be starving. And for him to go on the record and saying he's looking for the knockout. Well, that's something. That's something. Uh, he goes on and says that anything that he can do, I can do better. I'm bigger, faster, stronger, smarter. He is a great fighter, but I feel like I'm on a whole different level. End quote. Most young fighters feel that way. I'm expecting for Jerron Boots Ennis to talk in this fashion. Anything that Jerron Boots Ennis is saying right now, well, he believes it and he should because he's yet to be defeated. He has a damn good knockout ratio, very talented fighter, and no one has so much as even really put him in trouble. You know what I'm saying, fight fans? So he's feeling himself right now. He's feeling like he's on a whole nother level. He's getting better and better with each and every fight. And on top of that, he's getting stronger. He feels as though with each and every fight. I like this kid, man. He's hungry. He's starving and he's saying all of the right things. He says, and I quote, I'm hungry and I'm coming to take whatever they put on the table. End quote. Man. Yeah, man. Things are getting interesting at well to wait fight fans. This is all we should be asking for as boxing fans right here. The cream rising to the top, the best fighting, the best uh, sanctioning bodies getting out of the way of some of these fights. We are not happy with the WBA did in the Yordanus Ugas situation, but hopefully the IBF. I'm hoping and I'm keeping my fingers crossed because the decision has yet, yet to be made. But I'm hoping that the IBF sticks true to their reputation and hold the mandatory down. And I'm hoping that they don't pull Cody Crowley out of nowhere. And just throw him in there as the mandatory. I get it. He beat Abdul Kokorov. But where was Cody Crowley rated in the IBF prior to beating Abdul Kokorov? Riddle me that. He goes on and says, and I quote, nine times out of ten, they're not going to want to fight somebody like me because they know how hungry that I am. And they know they know that I want that belt. End quote. Damn. 
I hope not, man. I hope the IBF doesn't do anything crazy. And and like I said, with this crowdy situation, and I understand how a lot of people may feel and say, well, man, man, we're not sure if Jerron Boots Ennis is ready. I mean, Earl Spence Jr. is a certified champion. The man is the man. He's a hell of a fighter. He's big. He's strong. He's relentless. He doesn't stop. It takes a silver bullet. I get it, fight fans. But he's in position. And this is what his fans has been asking for. So I don't want to see Jerron Boots and his fans running around um, after this is get made and started backtracking. Because this is the time. He's ready. He's hungry. So if he win, loses a draw, either this is his moment will be either that will be his moment of greatness or his moment to hit the reset button and start all over again. One or the other. But we got to find out. And sometimes it doesn't take a fighter to get into his early 30s or maybe even 29, 28 years old to for them to have that big step up. If they're if they're dominating the B and C level fighters, if they if they if if, if they're gathering experience and stopping these dudes, I mean, you got to you got to let them go to the next level. That's just how I feel. Some fighters peak faster than others. Now, I know a lot of people may say, well, man, man, uh, I want to see Jerron Boots Ennis really tested. I want to see him pushed back. Hey, this is the decision that Jerron Boots Ennis makes and his team. They know what they see in the gym. They know the potential of their fighter. I would hope a team wouldn't rush their fighter because the glory is still there. It's going to always be there for a young fighter like Boots. If you don't feel he's, he's ready, let it be known. But for everything that I'm seeing coming out of Jerron Boots in his camp, everything that I'm hearing coming out of Jerron Boots in his mouth, he's talking like he's ready. So who are we? Who am I to tell him that he ain't? We'll see how everything goes, man. This thing adds pressure to the situation, and I'm dying to see where we end up at, fight fans. Thumbs up on the way out if you didn't hit it on the way in. Share, share, share. Rock those bells, man. Much love to the fam. I'll catch up with y'all real soon on the live stream. To the next video. Peace out.